Hope you're not thinking about jumping. Because if you do, I'm gonna have to come in after you. I'm not looking forward to that. Water's gonna be an ice bath. Really? You'd come after me? You're one of us now. And I can't be the only brains around here. Oh, freezing my ass off. Yeah. Coffee will warm you up. Go on. <coughs> God damn, Oak. You can't call it coffee when more than half's whiskey. Uh, you sound like my ex-wife. She was more of a rum girl. Despised a lot of them when I first got on board, but they grow on you. Like mold, they are. Nah, nah, sorry, that shit is now. They're growing on me too. Kind of nice that people can still joke around. It's a fine line between the court jester and the village idiot. You can guess which side I think he's on. So Before close to I shore. Pete, my brother and I were cooped up in an old canning factory. Food for ages. A lot of fat and happy people. But then a young girl got taken. We followed a trail. It wasn't hard with all the blood. Ended up cornering the people who took her in this warehouse. All ten of us went in. Only I came out. You did the right thing. And it got my brother killed. The right thing can kiss my ass. A few weeks later, I came across Pete, ways up the coast. He saw that look on my face and he offered me a job. Didn't ask any questions, didn't turn me away, just welcomed me in. I don't always get Pete, but I'm glad people like him still exist. I'll drink to that. Well, I think Berto's little routine is winding down so we can finally play cards. Care to join us? It'd be nice to have you there. Besides, None of us can remember the rules, so it'll be the most uh, unique game of Go Fish you've ever played. Yeah. Do me in. Sounds like a challenge. You might regret it when I win that machete of yours. Bonding, yay! The Square Moon. I need to see him. I need to see that bastard's face. There it is. Oh God, he's dead. I should have stopped you. How could you do this? He said he was going to hunt us down. That man was tied up, defenseless. You're better than this. He got what he deserved. I knew I shouldn't have left you alone with him. I wanted this. I, I did, but seeing him now... I wish I'd been the one to do it. Sam. It was my dad. My family. You're not a killer, Sam. Don't become one. You don't know what I am. Sam, calm down. My dad isn't even in the fucking ground yet, and you want me to calm down? I, I didn't mean he ruined everything. 
He killed... I know, I know. You don't know. Wait. You hear that? Answer me. Now. He's gonna want to talk to him. Calm the fuck down. You should change your fucking tone. You might be sitting pretty thinking you have the upper hand, but your luck has changed. Michelle needs Sadiq. They got the rest of the crew too. Oak and Berto. Whoopsies. Whatever this bitch asks, don't- Sadiq! Don't worry. They're all in good hands here. But them staying that way is up to you. So listen closely. I'm willing to trade my brother for your friends. But anything you do to Randall, I will do to them. Do you understand? Look, you don't owe me anything, but please, we have to get them back. That's my deal, Michonne. That goes both ways. Anything you do to my friends, I'll do to Randall. You better not touch him! We'll be there by sunrise. Be ready for us. Coming here for her brother. When she sees what we've done. Of himself. At least he can walk, right? If you can call that walking. Let's just hope she doesn't take it out on my guys. Norma wants her brother. The bag helps. A little. She's gonna want to see his face. Maybe we can stall her. And then what? Let's change your shirt so it's not covered in blood. Norma's not gonna leave us alone. She won't stop just because we gave her her brother back. Even if he was alive, we still burned all their shit. So we run. After you trade for your friends, we haul ass to the back gate and get the hell out of here. But she'd take the house. Let her have it. Wouldn't she expect us to run? So what? She knows where we are now. Hiding isn't an option. So let's just go. It might work. We just have to be quick. The minute your guys are inside, we're out of here. I can't fucking listen to this. What? Sam, come back here. Sam, you're gonna get us all killed. Like your brother and dad. Sam! Stop. You're going to hurt yourself. What did I just say? Sam, Sam stop. I want to bury him. Maybe you're all ready to walk away, but I'm not just going to leave him like this. <laughs> we couldn't give my mom a real funeral. My dad and I... I had to bury her here. Just the two of us. He'd want to be with her. <sighs> That's all I can give him. I understand. He should be buried with your mom. 
But we can't focus on that right now. We have to be ready to leave. I'm not going. What? Sam, you can't still be thinking. My that... mom is here, Paige. Everything I have of her. And Greg, if you want to leave, go ahead, but I'm not coming with you. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I, I can't go. This house meant everything to my dad. It's all I have left. I'm not just going to abandon it. I know you don't want to. You have two brothers. Leaving might be your only option. It isn't safe here anymore. I know, but I, I can't just give up. We can fight. We can defend this house. No matter what happens, thank you. I owe you my life. Sorry it took me so long to say it. I know it's stupid, but I have to finish this. I've got some weapons stashed in my room. Old duffel bag. Should look familiar. The weapons that were stolen. Everyone's armed before Norma gets here. Yeah. I mean, you kind of are the bad guys here and stealing their supplies. just wanted to know what it felt like I, I wasn't gonna shoot it just careful you don't want to shoot yourself keep your finger off the trigger empty Can I help? I want to do something. Sure, go ahead. Those slide in there. Round side forward. How could they just die like that? Greg and Dad. I, I thought we were safe here. What am I supposed to do? You have to be smart. That's how you survive. My dad was the smartest guy I knew. That didn't save him. I mean, he opened the door to throw out a seven hand. That wasn't very smart. The guy who did it killed my dad. He's gotta, I mean. Yeah, he's dead. The things he said, the way he was laughing about dad. Randall is dead, James. I killed him. I heard you guys talking. There's more people coming. To the house. Sam's hurt. If... If she... They can't hurt her too. You have to stop them. Your sister will be with me. I'll make sure she's safe. Here. I, I don't know if I'm ready. You know, to have one. Don't forget what I told you. Play it smart and you'll be fine. Norma's on her way. Things could go wrong in a hurry. Wish it didn't always come to this.
Prisoners won't cooperate. Yo. Here, Pete. Thanks. This is a mess. Can't believe how fucking stupid I was. I get so focused on finding people. I wasn't putting the crew first. I didn't insist on looking. If I didn't turn us around and lead us here, none of this would have happened. It wasn't stupid. You cared about finding your friends. There's nothing wrong with that. You think after all this time, after everything we've had to do to survive, people would want to help each other? But no. They're just guarding what's theirs and taking out whoever gets in their way. I don't know why I even bother trying to help anymore. It doesn't, it doesn't seem worth it. Maybe I was just fooling myself. I wanted to think there were people worth helping. And now we all have to pay the price for it. Careful, Pete. You're starting to sound like me. We just... We have to get my crew back. Hopefully my boat is still in one piece. Shit. What the hell are we gonna do? What happens after we hand him over? If she takes that bag off, are we really prepared for that? Sounds like Paige wants to run. Not the worst idea. I'm not leaving without my guys, but once we get them back... Yeah, I'm in. Poor Pete. I don't have time, girls. I gotta hand out guns. Is that music? Oh, Lordy. Girls? Girls! I'm running diagonally for some reason. It's always getting real long. I can't reach you. Girl stuck inside. Open this door. Can I come in? I like that. It's pretty. My dad gave it to me, so I wouldn't have to hear the things out there. As long as I stay in my fortress, I'm safe. It keeps all the bad stuff out. I put pillows and blankets against the wall. Looks pretty sturdy. I bet it's kept you nice and safe for a long time. That's good. It has to. Because of them. I know what those monsters out there are. One to go. Grandma told me about them. It's what happens when someone eats another person. Oh? I hadn't heard that one before. Do they scare you too? No. They make lots of noise. Even at night. The monsters don't scare me. I scare the monsters. Really? Yeah. My dad scares them off too. I've been waiting for him. Where is he? Why didn't he come get me yet? Where is my dad? I'm so sorry, Alex. Something terrible happened. A bad man came and hurt your dad. What? He shot him. No, I don't believe you. I want to see him. Please. <laughs> Did my dad be become one of them? It it it's what happens, right? No, your dad didn't become one of them. <laughs> He's still your dad. It's not fair. 
Alex, you need to be strong, okay? I can't. Two and three checked in. Coming up on the road now. Hey, keep the chatter to a minimum. Our friends are listening. <laughs> you should really go join your family and get ready to leave. I'll just open the music box again, that's fine. Page. Page. Ugh. Genuinely startled me. Page. In here? No. Page. Shuffle, 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 shuffle. Shuffle, shuffle. No. Shuffle, shuffle. shuffle. Girls. Stop that. Stop scaring your mother. Oh, hey, I, I didn't hear you come in. Here. Were you able to talk some sense into her? Or do you still think digging a hole is a good use of Sam's time? I've never seen her like this. She's... she's not thinking. Give her some space, okay? She's grieving. I know. And I wish I could give her that, but Norma's not gonna wait for her to get over her dad's death. The shitstorm's coming whether we're ready for it or not. I don't know why Sam thinks she can protect her brothers here. I don't think she's even thinking of her brothers. I'll be out of your hair soon enough. Never belonged here anyway. Same as you. That's one thing we got in common. Squatters in other people's lives. But that's not why you're leaving. I mean, it's part of it. Call it self-preservation, but I've gotten pretty used to knowing when it's time to cut and run. Norma's gonna be here soon. If they're not ready... I won't stick around just to watch this fall apart. She's so... stubborn, though. I just hope it doesn't get her killed this time. You're the only one here who can convince Sam to leave. Talk to her. I tried. Try again. She needs to be ready to run. And so do the kids. The Fairbanks kept me safe, but I don't know if I can do the same for them. You owe it to them. Girls. Oh, no. You found the bag. Yeah, here. Thanks. Are the others ready? As ready as we're gonna get. I'm looking for Alex. Have you seen him? I want him to be there when I say a few words for Dad. He wasn't at Mom's funeral. He should be there for this. Alex asked about his father. So... I told him what happened. Oh, shit. I, uh, I should check on him then. You'll find him in his fortress. I'll meet you outside. Koala. Why do they have a framed photo of just a koala? Say something. <laughs> Sam? 
You okay? Greg and Dad? I just... I don't really know what to say. Where am I supposed to start? I don't know. Just say what he meant to you. Yeah. Okay. I'll give you a moment. Hey, you okay? Michonne. Just thinking about my kids. I keep seeing them. Hang in there. We'll be back out on the water soon. You know, I envy them a little. They've oh, managed hi. to hold on to something we all lost a long time ago. Something like normal. I don't know how to describe it. Feels like before. Just a little bit. Whatever normal is, it doesn't exist anymore. No matter how much you want it to. Hey. It's going to be tough leaving this place. I just hope I can convince Sam to go with me. Miss Joan? She's here! <sighs> I thought we had more time. It's okay. It's going to be okay. Sam! Just go upstairs with your brother, okay? I need you to hide until I come get you. <sighs> What's going to happen? Is he going to hurt us? Y you'll stop them, right? Right? Just get upstairs. Whatever happens, I'll protect you. Everything will be fine. Stay together, no matter what. We will. Okay. And then they instantly separate. I can get a clear shot of the front gate from upstairs. I'll cover you. If I can. I hope it doesn't come to that. This is worst case scenario, right? Thank you. Don't thank me yet. Paige, if anything goes wrong, I need you to take care of James and Alex. Don't talk like that. Paige, please. Sam, you know I'll... Grab Randall and meet us outside. 